Hello, welcome back to Rule the World. We've got our old friend Steve, as we just found out last episode, DJ Spooky Steve, represent in the house. Steve can give it to you. And this episode basically, well, last episode, Steve taught us everything he knew about Thorncraft, and that means we're opened up this episode to create our new wand, a Batania powered wand. And also, we're going to go through the higher tier stuff of Thorncraft to get ourselves ready to tackle the Eldritch Dungeon. And we're going to put together all the things we need to actually get into the Eldritch Dungeon. Uh, and I'm not quite sure how we do that, which is why we need the expertise of old Steve-O Steve. Right, so how's it going, Steve? Uh, I see you've got like a... What is that? Like a, a magical ball or something there? It's a sandwich. Oh, you gave me one. PB and J. Oh, nice. So this is, is this peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and jam? That's the big question. You know what? I've, I've probably eaten way too much cooked fish. It doesn't even say what kind of fish it is, just that it's cooked fish. It could be anything. I'm not actually hungry right now, but I will save this for later. Thank you very much. Yeah, quote unquote fish. There we go. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, Thorncraft, right? We're going to make a wand. Now, you mentioned last episode that we're going to make like a super-powered Botania wand using Botania woods and metals. But what woods and metals do we use to make the wand? I've got like a gold-banded great wood wand here. But um, I, I, I don't know what, what we need to make the new one. I mean, I, I could assume, but that makes an ass out of you and me. Check your book. Oh, right, of course. The Thormonomicon. Now, this is where all of the the research is held. Now, I think Apocrypha, I think that has all the Botania stuff in there because it's got botany here and it's got three special flowers. Now, these flowers are actually really cool. If you've gone down Botania and you're going down Thorncraft as well in your mod pack and you need a way to clean up taint, a taint thistle will do the job. But not only that, it doesn't require mana, it, it creates mana. So it, it basically drinks up taint and turns it into mana, and that's a really good way of generating mana for Batania if you need it. It's also got Whisperweed, dubbed, not subbed, and uh, Euclid Daisy, and these are both cool flowers that, as you can see here, do some pretty cool things. But here's what we're looking for, and that's the special type of botany cores and caps. So it looks like we can make Elementium caps, which I think must be a rank above mana steel caps, and of course a Dreamwood staff which must be a rank above living wood because I think dream wood is living wood put through the portal to Alfheim and uh, Elementium is mana still put through and since we have the portal to Alfheim up and running and uh, and churning away I do believe we can also make dream wood rods for a wand but what's a staff for? Staves made of dream wood hold significantly more V than the equivalent wand and are able to apply more potent power when using foci. More energy, but can't do fine work. All right, so if you want to make like a weapon of mass destruction using uh, using Thorncraft, and you want to put like a focus in that will blow the people sky high, then you use a staff. But if you want to just have like a wand that can hold lots of magic for crafting in an arcane table, then you want a wand? Is that how it works? All right, cool. I feel like we should use both, Steve. I wouldn't mind like a weapon of mass destruction in the form of like a Thorncraft Thorncraft staff. I, I guess we got so much dream wood that it makes sense just to make a whole bunch of that stuff. So if I'm right, we'll need a bunch of dream wood and a bunch of elementium. Let's see what we've got stored over here at Botania HQ. You need a lot of runes too. Actually, that's a good point. Let's look up what we need. Dragonstone for the staff. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Uh, there's a rod. We need a mana diamond, a rune of winter, autumn, summer, spring, air, earth, fire, water, and mana. Oh my god, and the dream wood. And this is an arcane infusion using these essential. Wow, no heart? Yeah. That's, wow, that's a Captain Planet reference, Steve. I had no idea. No idea you were into that. So let's get out the runes that we have in here. I think it needs one of every single type of rune. So we'll take a mana diamond or two, because that'll come in handy. Do we have any dream wood in here, actually? That's a good point. Let's get some mana steel to turn into elementium. What was a dragon stone? 
A dragon stone is like a mana diamond sent through the portal, isn't it? Or like a diamond? I can't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in a sec. But we need, uh, let's see, a rune of water. Check. A rune of summer. A rune of spring. Actually, let's just double check what runes we need. So we need winter, autumn, summer, spring. Air, earth, fire, water, mana. I think that's every single type of rune there is. I can't be sure, but... Water, summer, spring. Oh, we need three of each. Earth. No envy is required. I think we need fire. Water for sure. Two for a rod and one for a wand. I'll tell you what, since we know how to make a staff, let's just settle ourselves with just a wand for the time being because I don't quite have enough runes to make a staff. And Luff Elementium for four caps. Again, like, yeah, if we're just making a wand, I reckon I'll just need enough for two. And so I'll, I'll stop at that. Right, and so let's head on over to the portal and make the dream wood and dragon stone that we need. Right, so we throw in now a mana diamond. And out comes a dragon stone. Nice. Now, what is that noise? I keep hearing there was a pig here? How did he die? <laughs> that is so weird. That is so weird. Well, never mind. Let's just put through a couple more mana diamonds because, you know, we've got plenty of these. Oh, we put a pork chop through by accident. I wonder what's going to come through after that. Nothing. Nothing by the looks. I wonder if you can use this as a trash can. Actually, I wonder what happens if we put a PBJ sandwich through there. Nothing. Didn't come out. I guess the other end, someone, some little elf on the other end is just there thinking... Oh, what's going on here? And then enjoying a PBJ sandwich. Why not? All right, so 14 Elementium, loads of Dragonstone, some Dreamwood, and all of the runes, I think, for the infusion. Check the infusion requirements for the caps. Oh, that is a good point, actually. Yeah, we've got the wand, the rod, but not the caps. So for the caps, we need... Ah, we need another rune of water, fire, earth, and air. But I think those are the ones that I have multiples of. Let's see. Earth, 7. Air, 8. Fire, 10. And water, 11. Alright, so I've got everything I need now. Or at least I should do. Lots of... Got lots of Gaia Shard things too. What can we use the Gaia Shards for though? That's, that's pretty much like Botania only. Unless we need... Are they like a, like a, like a skeleton key for getting the wand caps? Oh, do we need those? Oh, right, yeah, Gaia Spirits. Almost missed that one. All right, Steve, so, so I'm here. What do I need to do now? I mean, do I need to use the arcane work table? Maybe I can work this out for myself, because... I've made a, I've made a rod before. So, to make a dream... a silent dreamwood rod. Staves made of dreamwood hold significantly more V. As with living wood, dreamwood wads must be infused in a mana pool to fully awaken. Oh, right, so we have to actually then take the rods to a mana pool. Makes sense. I see, right, so the arcane infusion happens on a piece of dreamwood, and then the infusion turns it into the rod. You don't actually craft the rod. Well, I've never used the infusion apparatus, Steve. This is this is one thing that you never taught me. This is, we never did, we did have, never did anything with the, um, with the apparatus that we have here. And, and this is a really impressive looking piece of kit. I actually wanted to kind of get my my teeth into this thing for a while and now it's my chance to actually do something with it. First we need to make it stable. What do you mean stable? I see you put down there a wither skeleton skull. Uh, is that a stabilizing element? I'm not sure. It sounds a bit dangerous to me, Steve. Skulls and candles and crystals all stabilize it. Does it matter what you put down? I mean, can you put down like any old skeletons and skulls? Oh, it needs to be even and balanced, right? So, like symmetrical kind of. Okay. So if you put those skulls in the corners and then crystals in between all of those, that will probably kind of be symmetrical and keep it stable. There we go. Oh, look! Listen to that sound of the of the crystals clinking down. Mixed crystal cluster. Oh, and candles too. Does it matter about the colours? Ah, uh, good, good. So, everything's in place, Steve, uh, I think, as far as, like... Oh, where's he gone? There he is. Oh. So, does this mean everything's stable now? And do I start putting the runes down 
around the edge of here because we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have twelve slots. Twelve slots. Well, hang on a sec. Let me just count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a mana diamond and a rune of air. Um, wait, hang on a sec. I think I'm missing a rune. Yeah, I've only got eight runes. And I think I actually need nine. I don't know which one I'm missing, though. I can always go back, though, and grab... Oh, rune of mana, I think, is the one I'm missing. But I can go and grab one of those to finish it off. So let's see how it starts. We'll put down the rune of spring, summer, then autumn and winter. So, spring, summer. So, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Oh, I don't have any runes of winter. I have to go and get some of those. But also, I need air, earth, fire, and water. So after winter, we put down a mana diamond. So that would be, I think, here. And then at the bottom, that's where the rune of air goes. And then it's air, earth, fire, and water. Oh, and what's this? Ah, rune of winter! From above! Or from Steve. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. Ah, right, right. I knew I had one lying around. So where am I going to... Oh, I also need a rune of mana. Um, and that should go... Now, there's no real way to put these symmetrically, Steve. Because we are always left with uh, two slots that are open. And the rune of mana here. And that should be everything we need for the infusion. Then make sure you have... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't think I do have all the essential I need, though, Steve. What's happening? Why is... I should? In my wand? No, I haven't sucked anything out. No, no, no. Oh, you mean in the jars? Ah, oh, of course. Of course. So what's happening, Steve? Why is it going all foggy? This is weird. It isn't another rave, is it? What? What have we done? That's a warp effect. What do you mean? Did you just take damage? What's that sound? I can hear slimes. You're being stalked by something in the mist. What do you mean? Where? Down, down. Oh my god, do I have to kill it? Ah! I think I got it. Ow. It's got a wither effect on me, though. Oh, okay. And I got Ethereal Essence. Alienus. Oh, I need some milk now, though. Oh, oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Whoa, no, that, that was creepy. Oh, man, this mod pack... You know what the problem with this mod pack is, Steve? It's just way too scary. I don't care what's going on. It's just way too scary. So, so when does... When does the infusion happen, Steve? Because I can still see a great wood log. Whack it with your wand. Oh, of course. The cube. Oh, the cube. Right. So I just whack the cube around. The kind of the runic matrix. You sure? Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's shaking. Oh, oh my god, this is amazing. And it actually sucks out. The actual essentia that you need. Oh, this is so cool. Watch for something popping off. In case it goes wrong. Like like what? How can it go wrong? Oh, this looks so cool though. Oh, look at look at just all the essence kind of flowing into the altar. Oh, oh, the mana diamond's being pulled in. The rune's being pulled in. Oh, and it pulls these things in one by one. That rune. This rune. 
so if this goes wrong, do we lose everything that we put into it? Oh man, that sucks. Fingers crossed though, everything should go okay. And the final rune. Oh, there it is! Oh, yeah! The Silent Dreamwood Rod. And now we have to put the Silent Dreamwood Rod into a mana pool to activate it. All right, let's go see if this works. Ah, oh, sweet, a Dreamwood Rod. And now we need to make Elementium Caps. And then, do we also have to infuse the Elementium Caps? What's in the, uh, what's in the, what's in the Thormonomicon? Right, so Elementium Nuggets to make an inert cap. And then, ah, now this is much more simple. Air, earth, fire, water, and a Gaia spirit to make an elementium cap. Now we'll need two of each of these. And two Gaia spirits. So let's go turn this elementium into nuggets and make some caps. Actually, one thing I wanted to ask uh, Steve is, I've got this wand right, but I've collected a bunch of Essentia in these jars. Can I right click the jars with my wand to pull out the viz that I need? The Essentia? No? Oh, that sucks. All right, well, I guess I'll use your wand then, if that makes more sense. You're trusting me with your wand. Ooh. Don't worry, I, I, won't, I won't mishandle it. Oricalcum Auric Studded Cosmic Neutronium Wand. Creative only. Steve, how could you? All right, let's throw this in here, see what happens. Bam, one. You got it from Lewis. Why am I not surprised? Maybe you are Lewis. You ever thought about that? Okay, take your, take your filthy cheat one back, Steve. Oh my God. And let's go and turn these inert caps into, not salty enough, that's right. That's right. Plus, you know, Thorncraft, that is a very good point too. Let's turn these inert caps into uninert caps. So we do that by putting that on there, the cap in the middle. And then we need to spread around, I guess, just like before, all of the runes. So we need earth, fire, water, and air. And let's just look for the configuration in our book. It is air, earth, fire, water, air, earth, fire, water, air, earth, fire, water, right, let's do that. And now we just again right click with our wand, our scrub wand, gold banded great wood. Oh, no, that was wrong. And let's do it. Oh, it's happening. And now it's going to suck out air, water, fire, and I think terror. So there's one, the fire. It's going in. Oh, this is such a cool thing to watch happening, though. There's some things in certain mods in Minecraft that just, you know, blow you away. And, like, they just scream that this mod is just so much more better and impressive than a lot of them out there. And Thormcraft is one of those mods that's been developed since the dawn of time and has just always had so much TLC and love got into it that it just creates these awesome, amazing, cool things. Now the runes are getting sucked out from the sides. And we are creating... Bam! If I right click... Oops. There we go! An Elementium Cap! Sweet! And now we put the inert one back on there and repeat the process. Now I need to be careful because I'm gonna run out of some of these Essentia that I need to actually make this stuff happen in the, uh, in the infusion thingamajig. But luckily these, these jars seem to have a lot of stuff. I guess Steve's been like hard at work I've, oh my god, they're, they're everywhere! Oh no! Spiders, Steve! Spiders! Mind spiders? What What kind of madness is this? Where, did I get them all? I can, I can hear another spider somewhere. This one dropped a string. They're not real, are they? I don't see them anywhere. 
Mind string? Oh, okay. Alright, let's get this inert cap. And now I think we have all that we need to make our wand. Alright, let's get to the arcane work table. A dream wood rod. Wait, that's a rod, not a... A rod's... Yeah, a rod's fine. A rod is a small staff. So, bam. And now we need, again... Ooh, lots and lots and lots of, um... Oh, how did I get that? Here we go. Wait, no, hang on a sec. I won't let me craft this, Steve. I put the wand in the top right. Everything's in the main the main table. But there's nothing in the solution. Oh, no, oh, it's just invisible. Oh, look at this! This is... This is the weirdest... Elementium kissed a Dreamwood wand. How can I tell what the special effects are on it? Capacity 100. 80% average V cost. Wait, hang on a sec. 13, 14. Why is why is why is it going up? It's going up over time. The, the amount the V in it's just going up. I'm not near anything. It's just slowly going up over time. What is that? Is that like a property of the wand? Basically, your spells only cost 80% of the normal mana cost. Okay, but why is why is the value of Viz going up in this wand slowly over? Oh, stop now! No wait, there it is again. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty nine. Why am I constantly getting V in this wand? Ah, the property of the wand itself. Oh right, so if I go into the Thorminomicon and look up Dreamwood Staff, it's made from far rarer materials. Oh, right, so it's just a straight-up super upgrade to uh, what we had before. Gaia Spirits. Yeah, true. Ah, I suppose, actually, to make this wand, you have to have done enough enough Britannia to have defeated a Gaia Guardian. And that's no mean feat. To get to there in Britannia and to here in Thorncraft means you've done some seriously hard poop socking and, uh, and played a lot of Minecraft. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, that's kind of exhausted, as I think. I mean, this, this must be the end of this episode, Steve. Poop socky. Oh, it's a term for when you, you play games so much that you don't have time to go to the toilet, so you poop in a sock. Oh, I suppose you're a skeleton, so you wouldn't... You wouldn't do that. Never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching Rule the World, guys. Now, I thought we'd get more done this episode, but I guess what we did actually get done was pretty impressive. We used the mana infusion thing. I got mind fogged and attacked by mind spiders that were really, really freaking scary. But we saw the mana infusion, or rather the Thorncraft like infusion process. And, uh, and it was really impressive to behold. It was a really, really, really cool part of Thorncraft, and I'm glad we got to see it. So next episode... Oh my god, whoa. Oh yeah, and uh, an old cheaty Steve over here um, showed us his wand. His true colours. That's right, his true colours. <laughs> yeah. I'd kill him, but I can't because he's a cheat. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Next episode, I think we'll probably make enough materials to actually get to the Eldritch Dungeon and uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how we get there so we'll have to cover that next episode but I'm looking forward to that it's gonna be pretty cool so hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for some more Rule the World take care